SNES Drunk. Welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays uh, Mega Man X2. And we are collecting life, and we're on our way to the right side. I think we've got three more bosses to plow through here. And uh, we've got uh, Crystal Snail. And uh, my running gag throughout this has been, if you're not paying attention, if you're coming to this playlist new, is uh, my idea for a Mega Man TV show. And, uh, uh oh. And how uh, we'd get uh, various actors to play different uh, different villains, and the, the TV show would be in the style of the old Batman '60s TV show. Crystal Snail, I think, should also uh, be played by a woman, if only because Crystal Snail sounds like a woman's name. <laughs> um, who would it be? Who could it be now? Um, I don't know. I'm running out of ideas for actors here. It could be, uh, for some reason I keep thinking of, uh, it, it have to be somebody pretty, uh, large. And my, I guess it's because of the movie Misery, but I always go to Kathy Bates when I think of a large female actress. That's, uh, not really fair. There's also Melissa McCart McCarthy, McCartney, McCarthy. Um, who else is there? I don't know. Kathy Bates is not going to agree to be on a Mega Man TV show styled after the 60s Batman show. I, I just, just don't believe that to be feasible. You never know. She could go bankrupt and be desperate for the money. Oh, now this is a nice touch. Instead of the desert and all that, it's all frozen over. That's pretty cool. I forgot all about that. And again, we need another tall actor for... Uh, uh, overdrive Ostrich here. We already used Christopher Lloyd for uh, the... Uh, oh, you know who this could be? I don't know how tall Christopher Walken is, but I think Christopher Walken has an ostrich quality to him. Maybe. <laughs> I wonder if that sentence has ever been uttered in human history. Christopher Walken has an ostrich quality to him. I'm not sure if ostrich is, is the right animal for Christopher Walken. Maybe lemur? Is it is it lemur? The ones that have... Yeah, lemurs have the pointed eyes straight. I always get lemurs and sloths confused. Sloths are the ones that are basically just made up of plant stuff, essentially. And they can barely move. Alright. Now we have uh, one final... God, I always do that. And I have no sub tanks for this uh, final boss because I'm not very uh, good at this game, evidently. <laughs> no, I'm not very good tonight. Oh well. Oh no, it's Wheel Gator. This is going to take forever. This is the uh, strike chain. God, do you ever use this weapon for anything else in the game other than this boss? Actually, you do. I, never mind. I take it back. You do. I forgot. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. All right, now what actor or actress reminds you of a alligator? Not a crocodile, an alligator. So somebody presumably with a very large jaw. Oh, that's bullshit. Come on. Um, anytime I think of somebody with a very large jaw, I think of Tony Robbins. <laughs> I think of the old... Oh, no, shit. Damn it. Oh, whoops. Went a little crazy there with the... <laughs> with the controller. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, Tony, I think of the old Family Guy gag. Tony Robbins hungry. He just swallows somebody whole. I think it swallows Peter whole. Come on. This is going to take forever. <coughs> So yeah, Tony Rob. <laughs> I'm sure Tony Robbins would totally be down for playing an alligator. Oh, here we go. This makes up for the few I missed. That works. God damn it. Large jawed actors. Um, gosh, I don't know. There's the uh, I don't know. Rutger Hauer's got a pretty big jaw, I guess. 
Jay Leno. You know, the, you know, when you look at Jay Leno, he's just got a big chin. You don't think of a uh, reptilian jaw with him. Ah, damn it. Ran out of my weapon. My weepin'. Come on, come out, let's go. Right, I actually dodged one, and I suffered for it. This time I'm gonna just do, oh, there we go. Oh, nice, I've never done that before. He's underwater and I actually killed the bastard. That's pretty cool. Didn't even know you could do that. All right, oh wow, the whole thing blows up. See, and here's the big reveal that, gasp! It's Sigma. It's been Sigma the whole time. Gee, what a twist. Yay, toys. I mean like Simon and like a pinball machine and some Nerf guns and and stuff. So yeah, there's there's uh we we go back to the title screen from here. So we have the option to go back and grind and refill all the sub-tanks and go straight to the final section of the game, if you so choose. And yeah, like I said way back a few epi episodes ago, you go, for whatever reason, the game takes you back to the, uh, what do you call it, level? Who is this? This is Magnus Centipede's level. And when I, f I remember when I first played this, I, I kept pausing the game and trying to exit, whoops. Um, I, I kept trying to exit because, uh, God, I just don't care. <laughs> Let's go. Because I thought, like, I accidentally went to the Magnus Centipede level. Like, oops. Yeah, see, like that. And it doesn't let you, and I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, same old, same old, come on. I suppose I probably should go back and grind eventually, but I'll show off this part of the game before I get my ass kicked, which is highly likely. Now, the fourth sub-tank. Oh, you know what? I missed my chance, so I'm just gonna... There's a block that comes down right here, and it goes across, and then you leap across onto that ledge that I just passed. So... That's how you get the fourth sub tank. And it's zero. Hello there. Whoops, I'm holding down the charge button. All right, zero, let's go. Shit, this isn't gonna go well. Ah, I, f I completely forgot his attacks. Okay, you have to wall dash there. This isn't going to go well. Ah! I'm not fast enough. Oh, cool. You can actually, like, block his, uh, his, uh, projectiles with stuff. Ah! Do I have a... Oh, it's irrelevant. He hit me with his lightsaber. Is that really what it is? Does he really have a lightsaber? Does the game call it a lightsaber? They just, like shamelessly lifted from Star Wars. Alright, let's go. Nope, technical difficulty there. I accidentally unplugged the controller. Sorry about that. Anyway. I'm still thinking about the uh, Mega Man uh, TV series. Who would play Zero? Um... By the way, to the three people watching this, if you're um, leaving comments for suggestions of actors, I'm actually recording this in like the beginning of April, and I won't. By the time this posts, like in May, I won't see them. So this is all one big session. So I wish I could talk about your suggestions if there are any, but <laughs> I'd have to be able to time travel. You know, speaking of time travel, I always associate time travel with Star Trek. <laughs> Specifically Star Trek Next Generation. See, here's where you go. And you go on that ledge right there that I just missed. So let's have let's have some Star Trek actors be in this. Like, we can have Zero played by uh, 
Jonathan Frakes. No, I don't know. <laughs> have him played by Will Wheaton. That's right. We're going to have Mega Man played by Jeff Goldblum and uh, <laughs> and Zero played by Will Wheaton because that makes a lot of sense. All right, Zero, let's go. Kind of a cool dynamic here that the game introduces where you can um, block each other's uh, weapon fire. It's a really cool touch, in my opinion. I'm just not fast enough. I just can't dodge that, but that's what you're supposed to do. Ugh. Oh, nice going, Alex. Jeez. Oops, I'm supposed to call myself SNES drunk. Strictly. See, that's what you're supposed to do, but... Damn it. Ah! There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna need sub tanks to get by this guy. Well, I've got some left here. This will last me a little while. Ah, terrible. <laughs> Just fuck it. Fuck it. All right, since I'm heading, I'm past the 10 minute mark. I'm about to die. I want to thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully we'll beat zero next time and have a great rest of your day.